Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am W2Best and I make videos about tech travel and inspiration. If you're new around here, I would really like it if you wanted to subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the content that I'm going to be putting out in the upcoming weeks and months. That helps me out a lot. Yesterday I made a video about the new BIOS that came out the 9th of March for the Dell Inspiron 15 7000, which is the 7590, 7591 and Vostro 7590. I mentioned briefly in the video that I thought there was some kind of change to how much the fan was running after I installed the new BIOS, but I didn't elaborate more on it because after a while I felt like probably it wasn't really the truth and I was just making it up in my head and then I didn't think too much more about it. Quickly after I published the video I got this comment saying that in this update Dell has actually removed the opportunity for people to undervolt the CPU. And that that is crossed off both in throttle stop and in XTU. Here we are in Intel XTU and as you can see the core voltage offset is completely grayed out. We can't make any changes to it. However we can still change the turbo boost power max and I have normally put this at about 25 watts. If we run a quick stress test without having the turbo limited you can see that we immediately reach temperatures at about 95 to 100 degrees and that we're instantly thermal throttling. When I instead set the limit of the turbo to 20 watts you can see that we are limiting how much power we can push out from the processor but we're keeping the temperature at below 80 degrees and we have no thermal throttling going on. If we have a look in throttle stop you will find the information that you're looking for in FIVR. So clicking that and here you have the core voltage offset options. These can still be altered but if you're looking here and see what is actually being applied to the processor you can see that neither CPU core, Intel GPU, CPU cache or iGPU have any changes to them. Although I have a 140 millivolt offset applied to the app nothing is actually being applied to the processor. I was running a few stress tests in Cinebench R20 mainly to watch the temperatures and to listen to the noise. When the computer is idle it's staying around 20 to 21 decibels and when I was running Cinebench R20 with my turbo boost options turned on so that means limiting turbo to 20 watts then I'm at about 30 to 31 decibels. This is not a very loud fan noise but I would still really like to have undervolting available because it improves the performance and it lowers the temperature quite a bit when you have it applied. That is such a shame. One of the things that I really liked about this computer is how much you can alter how it works. So not being able to undervolt the processor is a really bad thing in general I think. It might not be the end of the world but at least I would have appreciated if there was some information in the notes about the new BIOS that said this was going to be the case that when you install this you're not going to be able to undervolt. Now I have to be the warning that tells you this. Do not install this BIOS if you want to undervolt your processor because this is not going to work anymore. Maybe in the future this will change but the way it is right now if you want that new BIOS you're not going to be able to undervolt. I'm W2Best. I make videos about tech travel and inspiration and I will see you in the next video. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.